Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I've got a electric pump, which I think is quite cool. So this was sent to me by a company called Psych Plus. And yeah, I'm gonna take you through what I think about it. So they did send it to me for free, but I am not holding no punches when I do this review, so I can say exactly what I want. So this is the unit itself. It's pretty big, it's about the size of my hand, pretty heavy. I weighed it, it's about 400 grams, so it's not the lightest thing. Um, it has some accessories which come with it. You get this little plastic bag here full of stuff. You've got your little pump hose and you can attach it to both Presta and Schrader valves. You get a little carrying bag of it as well, which is quite nice. And also you get the adapter to pump up footballs, which if you're British is very useful. So you've also got the charging cable here. It's a USB-C cable, which is quite good. Um, yeah, so let's jump straight into it and see how quickly this thing will pump up a tire. Um, I've got two wheels here. I've got the first one, this is gonna be a 25 mil tire, and then I've got a 32 millimeter tire. So we'll see how long it takes. All right, let me just get this set up. So let's do the, let's do the 25 millimeter one first. So let me know in the comments how long you think this will take, whether it'll be quicker or slower than doing it by hand. Okay, so I've got everything all attached here, so I'll turn it on and you get a little screen, just like this, showing you it's on zero PSI. It's pretty simple to use. You just use the up and down arrows here to choose what pressure you want it. I'm gonna go for a nice round 90 PSI. So how long do you think this will take? So you just press the button here and it will start. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> And then once it gets to the target, it finishes. So 89.5 PSI, that is not too bad. And let's talk about the elephant in the room. That is quite possibly the loudest pump I've ever heard. My ears are actually ringing. So this is not good if you want to go for like a 5 a.m. ride because you will literally wake up your entire family and probably your entire street. All right, so this is the next tire. This one is a 32 mil and let's see how long this one takes. I'm gonna pump it up to a lower pressure because it's a wide tire so you wouldn't really put this up to really high pressures anyway. So we'll go for 60 PSI on this one and let's see how long that takes. All right, so again, you just hold the button down and then choose the PSI you want. Let's bring this down to 60. So this one's set to 60 PSI, so let's go. Okay, there we go. So 60.2 PSI and that is done. That took a long time again. So I think this actually takes quite a long time to pump up considering how loud it is. I thought it would be a bit quicker than that. So I'm going to try again to pump it up, but this time I'm gonna use the track pump and I'm gonna see how much quicker I am with that. So let me first just empty all the air out of this one. All right, let me just sort this room out so I can pump it up properly. All right, starting from completely empty. I'll squeeze the tire to prove it. Completely empty there, and let us begin. So I'm gonna to try to get to 90 PSI again. Okay, there we go. Let's see how quick that was. So you can see on here, 90 PSI. Oh, upside down, there we go. 90 PSI, so it's exactly the same as the other pump did, but a lot quicker. So let's try again with this one. This is the 32, so let's see how quick that was. Okay, again, I'm gonna pump it up to 60, so let's see how quick I can do this. Okay, there we go, 60 PSI. Have a look. That's some quick pumping right there. So yeah, again, way, way quicker you use the track pump. All right, so at this point, you might be thinking, this is a bit rubbish. It's both slower than the big pump and it's louder, but there's one more pump we need to consider which is this one. So this is like one you take on your rides with you. So these two are sort of similar sizes really. This one's just a bit wider and a bit shorter. So let's see how long it takes to pump it up and whether I can even get to those sort of pressures with this mini hand pump. All right, 25 millimeter with the mini pump, let's go. I feel this could be a long one. Okay, I've just got to about, it's just moved off the bottom basically. Not even at 20 PSI yet. And this is actually really hard work. Okay, 
Okay, almost at 20, almost at 20 PSI. Look, about a minute or so off um, pumping and almost there, almost at 20. God, I'm getting exhausted. I need my heart rate in the corner. Oh. All right, let's see if I can get at least, oh no. Well, I fucked that up. Um, what I just did was snapped the, snaps the valve. So that's gonna be me very annoyed for the next few weeks while I order a new one. But yeah, um, as you can tell, I really don't like pumps like this. They're not very good. So yeah, valve extender broken. All right, let's try this again. I got to about 30 PSI and it took that long. So clearly these mini pumps are not very good. Let's try the other wheel. Let's try the 32 millimeter one. All right, hopefully that's got a stronger valve per end than this one. Okay, so starting from zero, we'll try to get this to 60 PSI, but I really doubt I'll be able to make it. So let's go. Barely even made a dent in it so far. Oh, All right, it's barely moved off the bottom, but you can start to feel it has some air in it, but clearly not a very high amount of pressure because it's still very squidgy to the finger. Okay, that's enough pumping for me. And as you can see, I'll show you up close. It's still very squidgy. I can still move the tire completely in with my finger. So these mini pumps are terrible. And that's where I think the electric pump can really help you. I would happily take this on a ride rather than the horrible mini pumps. So yeah, overall, I think this mini pump is probably quite a good idea, especially if you're taking it out and about. Um, it doesn't come anywhere near the track pump, but I don't think that's really what it's competing with. It's both slower and louder than this. So I'll still definitely be using this one in the morning at like 5 a.m. when I don't want to wake everyone. But when you're out on the road, I would definitely much rather have the electric pump because this one can actually reach those high PSIs and it doesn't take ages. Whereas you would have to have enormous forearms to make this get your tire up to a adequate PSI basically. Um, some criticisms of this, this is quite heavy. It's 400 grams and you'd have to put it in your jersey pocket. It does fit, but it's not particularly comfortable. I mean, you can put like a bottle in that back pocket, so this fits no problem. It is very loud, really, really loud, and you will wake everyone when you're using it. I think if they could make it a tiny bit smaller, maybe a bit thinner, so it's more a similar size and shape to the mini pump, it would be a definitely must buy. At the moment, I'm happy I own it, but I got it for free, so. Would I spend my own money on this? I probably would if I were planning to go for like a really long bike tour, and if you have a lot of punctures in your area, it's probably very useful, especially when you're trying to get back up to a higher pressure. Does it replace this? Um, probably for most people, I'm sure it could, because supposedly this lasts for like a long time. You can pump the tire up like 12 times, so unless you're really unlucky, this should be fine for most rides. How could this be improved? They could make it quieter, also, if this had a USB port for you to be able to charge your phone and stuff, that would make it very, very useful because then you wouldn't have to take a battery as well. If you're doing like a really long, like multi-day ride, this could be even more useful if you could use it as a battery charger as well. So yeah, overall, I do quite like it. Do I recommend it? Probably if you're gonna do you like a big bike tour or something and you want to be able to pump your tire up to a really high pressure. So yeah, that's it, quite like it. They'll put the link in the website down below, so be sure to check it out. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.